Rebecca Hall. I'm a graduate student at the University of Minnesota in the plant pathology department. And today we're going to be talking about brown rot on cherries, which is caused by Monolinia fruticola, and I actually have some right here. This disease first appears in the spring as blossoms and leaves become infected and cause browning, wilting, and they also continue to stay attached to the tree. For infection to occur, the fungus needs at least five hours of wetness on the tree as well as temperatures between 60 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Once blossoms and leaves are infected, the fungus can progress down into the tree and cause twig blights or cankers on the tree. Once a tree is infected, the fungus can produce asexual spores that will continue to reinfect the tree and can cause rot on the fruit. The rot on the fruit will cause the fruit to be very soft, squishy, and has a powdery tan substance on the surface. Young fruit is mostly resistant to the disease. However, maturity and increases in injuries may cause the disease to occur. This disease overwinters as wrinkled, hardened mummies that will produce spores in the spring. For treatment of the disease, resistant cultivars can be incorporated as well as applying appropriate fungicides for controlling the pathogen. Pruning out infected twigs, fruit, and blossoms is also important to help stop the spread of the disease. Also, in the fall, try to collect up as many mummies as possible to stop the disease from reoccurring. I'm gonna start pruning because these trees look really bad. We'll see you guys soon.